Okay, so here we're going to be performing an eccentric internal rotation with our J-bands. Um, I've got the double cuff on here, um, but obviously if the movement becomes too difficult um, or you feel like you can't control this amount of resistance, let's go down to a single cuff on the J-band, reducing some of that band resistance. We can also modify resistance on the J-band by moving further or closer um, to the origin where they're actually hooked up to our fence, or in this case, my D-ring. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to get our elbow up into about 90 degrees of shoulder abduction. I'm going to be about just inside 90 with elbow flexion here. I'm going to internally rotate, and then I'm controlling that external rotation as I work backwards eccentrically. So working in the internal, and that's gonna be a five second eccentric, five, four, three, two, one, as that band pulls me into external rotation. So the main movement is an external rotation, but as we're going into external rotation, we're working those internal rotation or internal rotators on the anterior aspect of the shoulder eccentrically. And that's what we're trying to work on here is that eccentric stress and making sure that we can handle that on the front side of the shoulder.